Vomiting in itself doesn't mean pyloric stenosis, but if you see a young baby vomiting and there were surgical concerns and they call you in, what would be in your head in a differential diagnosis of a kid vomiting that could be surgical? Well, the most common surgical reason for an infant vomiting is pyloric stenosis, but I think it's important to remember that there are more frequent non-surgical causes, uh, food allergies. Uh, it's the typical reason why an infant, when they come to see me, uh, has frequently been through two or three formula changes because their pediatricians have done the appropriate uh, change uh, in order to uh, assess whether a food allergy be may, the, may be the cause. Uh, additional causes uh, could be overfeeding of the infant or gastroesophageal reflux disease. Uh, surgical causes, uh, again, are pyloric stenosis, but you always have to be careful to make sure you do a complete exam looking for other uh, common things, such as uh, inguinal hernias, which may be incarcerated, uh, or uh, as a baby gets older, uh, a diagnosis of intus intussusception has to be entertained.